So one hour, five minutes in the world. Um, I'm assuming this is going to take roughly 10 to 15 hours. Or 15. Fuck. What is going on, guys? This is Iron Noobs coming back at you with a free-to-play to bond money-making series. Uh, I recently put out a money-making video for pay-to-play. I've been putting out quite a few of those, and I figured it was time for the free-to-play people to get some love. As you can see, this is a new character, sort of new. This is actually my old-school uh, main account. So let's run over here to Hans. Where the fuck is Hans? I believe I've got about an hour of game time in here so far. Talk to Hans here. So one hour and six minutes in the game so far. Uh, no stats, ignore that three slayer. Don't know where that came from, probably from a key or something like that. But the first thing first, um, I don't have any like specific thing that I'm gonna be attempting to do. We're just gonna be uh, playing the game and enjoying it. I'm not gonna be like hardcore grinding for anything, but I just wanna start off by saying first things first, I highly, highly suggest if you have the money to buy membership, even if it's just one month up front, buy it. It's like 10 bucks. Um, that's like an hour's worth of work in a real job. Uh, this is going to take probably close to 20 hours. So that's why I showed how much actual play time I had in the game. We're going to go ahead and get to a bond. And at the end of this uh little getting of the bond being that I don't actually need this character to have membership I'm gonna be giving it away to one lucky winner so stay tuned at the end of the video and I'll try to detail everything that I did to get some money and first things first we're gonna go ahead and finish up the blood pact here and get some starter weapons let's go so I'm actually going to come up here to the top of the castle and grab this bronze pickaxe just because um, it has some type of damage, melee, melee damage on it. Um, I've been told that it's actually better once when you're at a lower level to start off with legacy combat because you have no skills or anything like that. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and just start off in legacy mode. Uh, just because, like I said, it's it's easier. So we're going to go through and start working on hopefully killing this dude. So Legacy was doing absolutely jack shit. So hopefully uh, we can do something here with this melee and revolution, man. As you can see, I'm just missing horribly bad. Uh, this brawn pickaxe is not putting in work. I think we're definitely going to have to go figure something else out because, uh, yeah, this ain't working. So let's get out of here and uh, go figure something else out for a minute. All right, so we're back in Lumbridge Castle. I'm going to just loot everything in here and uh, hopefully make some type of money uh, to be able to buy some bronze weapon. Just made it to Varrock. I had already unlocked the Lodestone. I guess quite a while back. I also have Taverly and Bertha unlocked. So we're going to run up to the Grand Exchange. Hopefully sell uh, this stuff. Oh, that bowl says it's worth like 140 gold. We'll have to see. Hopefully this will be enough to get some starter weapons. Alrighty, so just ignore everything from this point uh, on. This, like I said, was an alt account I used to buy incandescent energies and stuff for me um, in the past. So, But I started off with zero GP, but it looks like bowls are selling for 124 gold. So I do have 252 gold. I'm going to run over to the general store and see if we can't buy a few bowls and maybe get a couple thousand gold to buy a better starter weapon before we finish the quest. Oh, nice. They got 10 bowls. So let's go ahead and buy all 10 of those bowls. And I think the jugs might have sold for a decent amount as well. And we'll go ahead and check out the empty pots as well. And I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all the bank just so y'all saw the bank is completely empty. Alrighty, nice. So sold everything. Got a 2.5k. So let's go uh, pick up a bronze sword. Get rid of this piece of crap bronze axe because this was doing nothing for us. Oh man, wish I would have known that the bronze sword is actually free. So that would have saved some time. Let's go put in some work on these guys. 
All right, so I had to do some stuff with the interface, but uh, let's just close as I can get it to my main. But let's go ahead and get in here and start putting in work on this dude. And of course, I kill them all because, man, I don't fuck around. All right, so there is the blood pack. Sorry, I moved my microphone. There is the blood pack completed. Uh, that was just to basically get these basic weapons. We're gonna put. Uh, oh, I guess it's just a hundred in each skill. So now we're going to enter these catacombs here, and uh, some people may know what I'm doing, but I'm going to go down and work on getting level 5 magic to start off. I have completed that. Uh, I'll start off, I'm not sure if I can kill the corpse spiders in here, but we'll give them a shot. So these corpse spiders here, they drop uh, staffs of air. I believe they drop other staffs as well, but basically the spider silk is what we're after. Uh, 561 GP each. I'll take that staff of air, which is going to save me some air runes. You can also turn on area loot and loot everything because I believe bones are worth just a little bit of money as well. Let me see here. Bones are worth 204 GP, so we can actually area loot everything. Like I said, we're just trying to get five magic. Alrighty, so I went ahead and turned off defensive XP gains just to make this uh, a little bit faster. To do that, you just gotta go into your settings here. Uh, combat XP, I turned off strength, strength and defense XP and then defense XP for the rest of them because I'm just trying to level my magic. I did get up to three defense before I did swap them over, so. And there's level five magic, didn't take but maybe 30 seconds or so, so I'll grab the rest of my spider silk here. We'll run over to Varrock, sell it, and we'll get started on the new one. The reason for getting that was so that I can unlock Dragon's Breath. I'll explain that in the next clip. Alrighty, so after selling everything, which I did sell the Staff of Air just because Caitlyn's Staff actually has 160. Oh, I got some leather gloves as well. Let's go ahead and sell those too. Hell, why not, right? But we are at 16k. It's pretty nice, man, those leather gloves. Pretty nice. Let me go ahead and chunk these other dumb weapons into the bank that I won't be using for a little while. We're going to go back to Lumbridge, and I'm going to explain what we're doing next. So we will be killing chickens for quite a while. Obviously, with it being a free-to-play free world, I'm sure it's going to be a little crazy packed, but hey, we'll uh, do what we can do. I've heard this method is about one mil an hour, obviously, with it being free-to-play. It's probably going to be a little bit less just because there's going to be more people and stuff here so we'll do this for a little bit and uh yeah we'll see how much money we can make so it does not take very long to fill these inventories up at all uh just this inventory right here is 15k it takes literally like 10 seconds to run back over here and re-pick everything back up so it is crazy crazy freaking good all right so about a whole three minutes later uh, let me just test to see what I got. I'm fixing to take a break and grab some dinner, but this literally took three minutes, uh, and we're already at 78k, so that is freaking nice. And there's 15 magic whilst doing this little, uh, I guess, grinding. Those magic levels went super fast, not gonna lie. Alright, so this is a loot from roughly 5 to 6 minutes, uh, 150k, so I would definitely say it's easily over 1 mil an hour. Uh, I'm not going to do it too, too long. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and start working on something different now that I got 15 magic to test it out. I know that farming chickens is probably one of the best free-to-play uh, money makers, but obviously I want to kind of just do different things, show off different uh, money making things that you can do in free to play to be able to uh, just do different things because not everybody's going to want to sit and grind the same exact thing over and over and over. So the only thing that Insta sold was the feathers of course giving me another 6k but I've got uh, some stuff here the raw chicken and everything I'm going to go ahead and leave it in uh, actually I need to Insta sell something just because I'm going to need uh, at least one space for what I'm attempting to do. So let me go ahead and insta-sell something, hopefully. Put everything at 5% uh, below market value. Hopefully something will insta-sell. Alright, so I just went ahead and insta-sold everything. Uh, 147k, that's not too, too bad. But let's go ahead and uh, work on some other stuff. 
So I'm not really sure what the uh, profit is on Bones to Bananas, but as you can see, it's super fast uh, and it's pretty decent uh, magic XP at lower levels, but uh, you just set up a preset and I have the Bones to Bananas bell on my two key. So my preset is one and then hit two and one and two and repeat. Goes pretty quickly. It costs two earth runes. I believe it's two water runes, but I am using a staff of water. Yeah, it's two water runes as well. And just hit one and two on your keyboard, or in my case, um, it's on my mouse. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's see. I'm not going to waste it on those two bones, but we'll go ahead and chunk these in here. I did already sell some, so we'll see. I bought the bones for 109, made 160k, so I'll continue uh, just doing this until I use up all of the runes and we'll see how much money we're at. <clears throat> There's 20 magic so far, obviously just <laughs> grinding this out. Uh, once I finish up with these runes, I'll probably do a few trips or a few uh, inventories worth of this, it just depends on how uh, much money I'm making. Obviously it's really fast, so I feel like the profit's going to be pretty decent. Alrighty, so that uh, ran out kind of quickly. Nobody's buying anymore, so made a decent amount of money. Obviously, I just bought some more nature runes, so let's go ahead and sell all of this stuff back. Alrighty, so that puts us at 243k. Obviously, once I sell these, that'll put us at just over 300k, so not too too bad let's go ahead and check out another uh, money making thing here let me see logs let me uh, just buy 10 of these real quick see if these actually make money or not all right and the bananas did sell so i spent three four five basically 5.3k i made 1k off of the headless arrow so i think we'll try that out for a little bit Alrighty, so just finished making the 7,500 headless arrows. That actually got me to 27 fletching, so these lower levels, man, they really fly by. They really make you feel like you're uh, doing something, huh? So let's go and cash those in. That's going to get me to 387k already. That is not bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and try out the, uh, the bones to bananas thing out uh, again and see how well that's working out. So for one of the other methods that I want to try out, I need to get to 27 magic, so I'm going to head back over to chickens real quick just because the bones to bananas are working, it's just taking a little bit of time to sell, so I'm going to go ahead and come down here and work on getting to 27 magic. Hey, I didn't even realize with getting level 26 magic took me to 100 total that's pretty nice. We're fixing to hit 27 magic on this next trip, it looks like. So that took about a whole three minutes. And there we go with 27 magic. So let's go ahead and check out our new, our next money maker that we're going to try out. So honestly, I mean, it seems that uh, bananas do sell pretty quickly, but it's very, um, how do you say, like sometimes they won't sell for like, 10, 15, 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden they're selling all the time, so we're currently at 600k. I really like the banana thing just because it seems to make really fast money, but like I said, with it being uh, so unpredictable, I'm not really sure how that's going to go. So I can now enchant uh, defense amulets, which if I do at the current prices I'm making about, uh, I believe it's like 200 like 250 coins per, so I'm going to give that a chance. Uh, obviously, having 600,000 GP, I can buy quite a bit of them now, so uh, not that many, obviously, but we'll go ahead and buy 100 of them and see um, how well it's playing out. All right, so I know there's got to be a make-all option for this. For some reason, it's not popping up for me, so this is definitely not something that I'll continue to do. Um, I know when I very first went to enchant one, it gave me a make all option, so I'm not sure why it's not popping up now, but, um, yeah, this ain't gonna work out. There is 30 magic though, so it's actually pretty decent magic 
magic xp so it's actually pretty nice uh but like i said without there being a make all option i'm just way too freaking lazy uh for it only being like 200 coins profit i don't really see myself doing that too much so i didn't make 18k right there about 19k so can't really too com can't really complain too much about that but uh let me kind of see what i want to work on next all right boys you know what time it is time to check out the old flax to bowstring method uh back when i was playing uh it was before old school was old school this was like one of the things way back in the day to do for money um this wasn't a free-to-play skill back then fletching wasn't free to play so this is going to be kind of interesting to see how the free-to-play market works i know that bowstrings currently are going for 289 I think I bought these for 70 GP each, so there's actually, you know, I've noticed there's not like a shitload of bots in this game, or in the world that I've been in, that's just actually pretty strange, so we'll see. So one inventory got me to five crafting, man, the levels are coming in, the levels are coming in. So obviously, like always, flax to bowstrings is of course profitable, but I'd say it took roughly about four to five minutes to make that 20k. Um, obviously, let me see, multiply that by 10, so you're talking 200k an hour. There's so many more better money makers than that. As you can see, I've been trying different uh, things out here, and yeah they're not working out for me so i think i'm gonna try bananas again for a little bit just to uh get that 630k up really fast to that one mil mark all right so logged off for about mm, 15 minutes or so maybe a little bit longer and all the bananas did sell so that takes us up to 742k that is not bad at all so altogether total that looks like it's going to be about a 104k profit just off of that, almost 105k. I was really hoping to hit a 1 million GP before the end of this episode, but I don't want it to get too, too long. So we're going to go ahead and end this episode off with 742k. I'm going to run down to Hans and see how long it took me uh, in-game to be able to make that GP. Alrighty, now keep in mind we did already have one hour and six minutes, I believe, uh, in the world. So let's see, he's been trolling. So three hours and 30 minutes. So it took me roughly two and a half hours almost to make 700k, man. That is kind of crappy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Obviously, uh, I had to do a quest and everything like that. That obviously didn't take too long. But just uh, learning some of these free-to-play methods is obviously going to take some time. Um, I did get to a total of 116 levels though, uh, 31 magic, 11 crafting, 27 fletching, uh, 17 HP, somehow I got 2 strength, oh I think that's all from the quest uh, reward, so um, hopefully next episode we're going to be able to be a little bit more efficient, but uh, if you guys are interested in this series be sure to subscribe to see uh, more of the episodes coming out, obviously I don't want to string this series on for long, it's only basically making 20 mil and free to play uh, be sure to like the video if it did help you or and if you did enjoy it and uh, subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay tuned with the series like i said at the end of the series i will be doing a bond giveaway uh, the bond that i make during the series i will be giving away to one lucky winner um, other than that this is iron noobs we'll see y'all in the next one peace